something real quick out of my files, uh, Karma. I wanted to actually uh, read something that I had written a while ago that uh, kind of gets an idea across of what I've been talking about when it comes to conspiracies and stuff. Um, okay. It's kind of like my take on a lot of it. I, I've actually gotten into them, or I, I've gotten into them more than what I have most other things. And um, I think this will pretty much uh, uh, sum it up on a lot of the stuff that I have. Here it is. Um, let me read this real quick, and uh, it'll kind of get an idea of where I'm going with it. I uh, did a video series on YouTube called Into the Abyss, and uh, I had a, a note in my notepad that I did on the computer for it, and I want to want to just share it because without shame, most people are cowards, filled with greed and vanity always competing for resources, power, and uh, notoriety. In order to gain these things, it's required that the masses must be controlled and influenced. In order to acquire resources, blood has to be spilled, and our young have to be sacrificed for the greater good. A life for a life, for the sake of the spring, blood no, blood's uh, sacrificed in order for the water to flow. Lotteries created evolved into wor uh, words like the draft. And our children soon march blindly into death's shadow. This was all done in the name of patriotism. Still we are told that we must sacrifice our young for the sake of the many. And we do not take a moment to figure it out. We and the elites are not one and the same. We are segregated with two separate purposes and standards. The rich enjoy their wealth by manipulation through standards and symbolism. While eg exiled in Babylon, the Jewish created their texts in order to retain their identity as God's chosen people. They were living with pagan barbarians, of course, weren't they? People who worship gods by laying in their own excrement yet understood the moon cycle by the 5th century BC. It is also a wonder how Babylonian ideology found its way into the Talmud and then eventually into the Quran. We are placed in positions according, accordingly if we, if we are smart enough though we can climb our way out of the cesspool through the use of fame, intellect, money, and beauty. Even then, though, we are still called upon to sacrifice ourselves or loved ones for the greater good. The greater good, of course, is a small percentage of people who enjoy living in penthouses or in the south of France. It's all about wants and needs, and the object of the game is the rich manipulating the poor in order to gain what they want usually by monopolizing resources, then extorting us with laws that we then submit to without disagreement. It is only when laws, no, it's only when laws affect the elites negatively that those laws change. Poor people and their families are nothing more than pawns on a chessboard. Still, the ruling class was gracious while they, uh, while they changed from kings and queens into elites, changing their personas and status while meeting their growing needs, building towers that climb above their surroundings, overwhelming us in hypnotic spells of grandeur. We worship the, the, the Eiffel Tower, Golden Gate Bridge, and even the Twin Towers that fell in recent years. The blood of children is smeared upon the foundations of those structures, but do we care? We place our vanity at the doorstep of two buildings while victims still perish today. We send our children off into the darkness and some don't return. 
The world is actually overpopulated, and some believe that sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. This seems to be a common theme in every issue, too. But what is the greater good, though? WHO, the World Health Organization, actually has statistics on how many people are estimated to die within the next 50 years. John found out, too, in order for the... Uh, environmentalists to achieve what they want, carbon levels in the atmosphere need to go down to 165. In 1985, carbon levels were at 225. By the year 2000, and by the year 2000s, levels were down to 185. In order for carbon levels to make it down to 165, the human population has to decrease. With a population of over 7 billion, we can't achieve a carbon level of 165. In other words, population control is top priority in geopolitics. To achieve these goals, people must die and sterilization laws enforce. How proud we were when those towers were built with foundations strong and sure. Under these towers, a spring was buried, filled with chaos and fury so pure. This is a poem. A battle raging so strong and silent, and the people without a clue, hidden away within isolated bubbles so far away from the world and all of its troubles. The earth began to rumble and the ground began to shake while foundations began to crumble and those towers fell to the floor. Under the foundations we found two enemies battling one another, each burning with hatred, neither more furious than the other, battling over the spring, neither wishing, neither wishing the bloodshed to end, though if the bloodshed ends, the earth will no longer rumble, the ground will no longer shake, and the towers will no longer fall. Brainwashing was with po uh, propaganda, listening to stories that are told, boys and girls wish to adventure, glossy-eyed young, and wanting to shoot a gun while playing with black powder. Searching for adventure, fortune, fame, they travel to far off lands. Mystery and adventure is all they see. Yet, the more that is seen, the more they want, and the more will be revealed. So sail across to that faraway land, map the skies as they go. The young shall create, not destroy, or be hypnotized. The young should create, not destroy, or be hypnotized and mesmerized either. Kids, though, will see what they only wish to see. When they go just over that hill, they will see what, once, what was once golden orchards, pastures once filled with rose petals, now nothing but scorn, uh, scorched land. Looking towards the horizon, they will speak of way back when, remembering how it used to be, when grass grew green and we were truly free, while in the back of their minds lay all the shame, what they truly became the day they decided that they had to be, the, the day they decided what they had to become, the lies they fell for and the leaders they followed, who selected selected only the best of the stock, those who decided who shall live and who shall die. And that's the end of it. But that was one of the last things that I uh, ended up writing about the subject. I, uh, or that was the last You wrote that? Yeah, I wrote that. Nice. That's, uh, the... I believe that was the last uh, thing that I did for that series on YouTube. <coughs> but, you know, I mean, whenever I talk about conspiracy theory, that's kind of what I'm getting at, you know? Um, I, I think uh, there's a, a lot of people out there who, who honestly believe that, you know, 
these things that are going on in our day-to-day -day lives aren't a part of the conspiracy when it's not the truth. It's like right there in front of our faces. We just don't see it because it's been happening for so long, you know what I mean? Yeah, have you ever heard of the Georgia Guidestones in Eberton, Georgia? Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, that's Yeah, it, right, it's written in stone that's about true. the separation of the languages, then it, what languages should sustain, as well as the population control agenda, New World Order. If, uh, that, that was the one thing about, uh, about, uh, um, chemtrails that I'd like to have him on, on here for because, like, he really gets into stuff like that, you know what I mean? He, he really talks about it and everything with his, uh, with, with his, uh, record, or streams, I guess, or no, uploads, videos, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I have my disagreements with some of the stuff he says because he, he believes that it's, uh, connected to, like, aliens and things like that, but, like, I... Like, uh, there's, there's people who believe in aliens who believe, like, there's this contract that keeps aliens away from the humans. So, as long as they, we follow that contract, we're okay. And I was, I told him in a comment, I'm like, I, I don't believe that if there's, a uh, aliens that had all that technology and were so much more advanced than us, they would, you know, abide by a contract between Earth and aliens from outer space. I just don't, I don't feed in. But if they're not aliens, they're just higher form of intelligence. And also, too, they're not combative. Aliens are more loving and more friendly than we are um, because we're actually, uh, like, I don't want to say trickled down versions. But again, our DNA has been altered because initially we started out, I don't want to say we started out as aliens. It's not true. But the same genetic capabilities, the D our DNA, we had the same makeup and it was in stored in us. But then, like I said, there was a separation. Again, the same thing for the desire of power, um, kind of like from the separation of bicameral mindset, where we were two hemisphere, at what well, excuse me, where we were operating on one hemisphere and then we go from one to having two and then the separation of actual logical thinking and doing as opposed to just actionary and turning towards doing stuff based off of instinct. Um, I, I don't want to say that the contract, I don't want to say it's not true because on the IRS um, documents, and I, I think I shared it in your chat too, just even with like some of the communications and some of the quote unquote requests, it's an actual contract of saying, hey, yeah, stay away from us. But you can see where there are um, relationships and correspondences with foreign life. And here I am in these circles again. I, I, I like walk in circles <laughs> when it's just crazy. But um, here they are, like I said, not, I don't want to say that they are like, oh, we're telling them to stay away. It's kind of one of those things to where it, there's no real reason to not. And to the point where because of the separation, because of a negative influence, negative impact, the negative um, connotation put on their presence, it was more of, it's like one of those things, they don't do drama. And I know that's a surprise. Everyone thinks that aliens would walk around and want to fight, but they're not. They're very loving, loving beings. And they would prefer to project love, but we don't project that type of love. And so if there was a excuse me, desire for an invasion, quote unquote, or a war, it would be as a result of, excuse me, in the name of love, as crazy as it sounds, it would be to restore the natural order in which we came, in, which we came from and or which we started from.